Hello lads, ladies, gents, ladders, whoever, whatever, welcome back to another video. Remakes and re-releases have become more and more common as time passes. And although I'm not against the vast majority of them, I do think there are some games that might have been forgotten and deserve some love. This will be by no means an exhaustive list, so share what you'd love to see remade, remastered, or at the very least ported to more modern consoles for us to play. Though technically getting a Switch port, Star Wars The Force Unleashed is one of the first games that come to mind that I think needs to be remade, especially with a more modern combat system. Maybe something like the newest run of Star Wars games, like Jedi Survivor. This third person action game from late 2009 is a classic and often gets lost in the shuffle of great Star Wars games, and we find ourselves as Darth Vader's secret apprentice known as Starkiller who's sent on a mission to hunt and kill the remaining few Jedi, only for things to go a little bit out of control. I'm not going to spoil it, play it, it's amazing. Not too long ago, at least at the time of writing this script, in a Discord that I'm in, someone brought up the Yakuza games and was talking about how they're collecting them all. Yakuza, you might ask, with a puzzling infliction, considering how easy it is to get your hands on these days, but there was a little known game from the Yakuza series known as Yakuza Dead Souls. It was a PS3 exclusive. It's a zombie spin off game that does what you think a zombie spin off game would do. It's somehow a weird mishmash of horror and comedy in a way that only the Yakuza games could do. I wouldn't necessarily want a remaster of this game per se, but a port to modern consoles would be nice. And and that's mainly because even though I'm fortunate enough to have a copy that I got for like 50 bucks many years ago, it can cost hundreds if you want to get your hands on the English copy of this game. The plot of the game is about what you would expect. There was a sudden zombie outbreak and shit hits the fan. It's not necessarily the best zombie game that was ever made, especially in this time period, but hey, it'd be fun to just have. If you were somehow a super fan, you would probably be aware of what some of my favourite games are. You would know at the top of the list are the first two Kingdom Hearts games along with Darkness 1 and 2. Kingdom Hearts is so easy to get a hold of though, I already own it on PS2, PS3, PS4, PS5 and the PC. I did stop myself before getting the Switch versions, I do have some self-control. But the Darkness, however, is sadly trapped on the 7th generation of consoles. We haven't seen it be able to break free of this console-only release hell that it's found itself in. This was before we were pretty much guaranteed PC ports of everything that came out on console. Though there have been murmurs of a potential port or remaster at least in the works down the line at some point, I don't know when it's going to happen. I'd love to see the game at least ported to modern consoles to run smoother, but ideally I'd love to see a PC version because I hate playing FPS on console. The plot of the darkness follows Jackie Estacado who is a New York City hitman for the mob. However, on his 21st birthday he becomes possessed by an entity only known as the darkness. For reasons you'll discover, the mob turns against Jackie and he will have to find his way out of this. Now there's a whole bunch of things that happen. There's a lot of really good twists and turns and this is one of the best written games I have ever played. However, for the sake of time, I'm not going to spoil anything here. Eventually I will do a video on it though, so uh, stay tuned. Come, embrace the darkness. Back in the early 2000s, EA Sports Big released a series of sports games known as the Street Series. From FIFA to the NBA and NFL, they made most of the traditional sports games seem pretty boring. This was due to their over-the-top animations and the lack of rules that they would follow. Everything about them was overly exaggerated. From the game's different cast of characters being mixed with actual sports stars, it made things an absolute riot. With a focus on fun instead of the simulation, the Street games were unforgettable, and it's a shame the series as a whole has died off. It's not to say we need yearly releases like every other sports title, because honestly I think that would actually ruin the allure of them. However, once every 4-5 or five years, kinda like a Mario Kart, would be nice to see. Now I can't really give you plot summaries because they're sports games, but look at them. They're stupid and fun. So I'd love to see them get remade, especially with modern online support, it'd be awesome to be able to sit there and play with friends. To round out this little video, you might consider this a bit of a cop out, but I want the original versions of Generation 1, 2 and 3 of Pokemon to come to Switch. I'd love to have these be playable on Nintendo's flagship device. I know they've had their own remakes technically, but I want the original versions. And especially if they were to be added to the Nintendo Switch Online program, it would be incredible. I'd actually have a reason to play anything more than Tetris on the Game Boy emulator. Furthermore, give me that GameCube release, Pokemon Gale XD. I never got to play that son of a bitch as a kid and it cost way too much to play these days. Days. So with that, lads, ladies and gents, let that to whoever, whatever, it brings us to the end of another video. I know this one was a bit of a shorter one, but as I mentioned in my update video at the start of the year, slash end of last, I am going to have these as little extra videos. They aren't going to be super high effort or anything like that, but I don't want them to be complete and utter trash. I hope you enjoyed, and again, if you have games you would love to see remake remastered, let me know down below. This is a video topic we will eventually revisit. I want to thank you all again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that 
that like button. If you want to go that extra step, you can hit the subscribe button. If you want to go that extra mile, you can support me on Kofi for just a dollar a month, like these lovely people here. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there. Bye.